everyone, it's Vicky from Minerva. Now I have some really gorgeous fabrics to share with you today in today's fabric haul video. And we are focusing on art gallery fabrics today. Now, if you haven't come across art gallery fabrics before, they do a wonderful collection of fabrics on lots of different base cloths, some really beautiful designs from some amazing designers. And yeah, it's just such an inspiring collection of fabrics. We love them here at Minerva. And I've picked out some of my favorites to share with you today. Now I've got a selection of different base cloths so I can talk you through the differences between them and hopefully give you some ideas on the sort of things you can make with these types of fabrics. So let's get stuck in. So the first fabric I've got to share with you, this is the cotton flannel fabric. Now I think this is the newest base cloth that Art Gallery have released and it's so cosy, super soft, perfect for um, times when you want a fabric that's going to keep you warm. Hold that out there, there we are. And hold it up the right way around. There we go, isn't that just a beautiful print? Now, cotton flannel and the, the art gallery version we've got here. So this is a 100% cot cotton fabric and it is brushed uh, in this case on both sides of the fabric and it gives it a very soft, almost fuzzy texture. So that, it just makes it feel so cosy. The, the air that can be trapped in between those fibres makes it a really warm fabric to wear. So it's perfect for the times of year when you want a cosy fabric that's gonna keep you warm. And it's really popular for making pyjamas, but it's also great for making shirts, uh, shirt dresses as well. Any sort of pattern that where you re it requires a woven fabric with some structure um, and that you want a fabric that's going to keep you warm and toasty. This will be absolutely lovely. Uh, now this fabric is 45 inch or approximately 110 centimetres wide. So you will need, uh, well you will likely need extra um, and if you just refer to the back of your pattern envelope, it'll tell you exactly how much you need for your garment. Uh, but yeah, such a lovely design, such warm, beautiful colours in this one. We love this one. So the next base cloth I've got to talk about, so this is the cotton jersey and it is such a beautiful quality cotton jersey. Everybody that that buys this type of fabric and receives it in the in the um, in the post at home. They open the parcel. It's just oh, it's such a beautiful fabric to handle. You can feel the quality. Everybody loves it. And this design is a really classic spot. Beautiful size dot. The spacing on between those as well. It's such a classic design. Really lovely scale. And this one that I've got here um, is a cream background with a bright cerise print pink spot, um, but it comes in lots of different colorways, does that one. So this sort of fabric is perfect for making t-shirts or summery dresses. It's also great for kids' clothes. Loads of things you can make with this jersey. Um, it's, you know, a t-shirt weight jersey and it's just the softness of it is incredible. And it has great, great stretch recovery really really beautiful fabric and I've got another design to show you here as well this is another uh, favorite design that comes in quite a few colorways as well isn't that such a fun print there's quite a few makes that have been shared on the website in this fabric and it just looks great one of them is in the mustard colorway and it's a dress and it just looks really nice. Um, I think it's a lady called Sheila who's made it, um, if I'm remembering correctly, and she's worn it with tights and boots, and it just looks fabulous. So I definitely had to share that one with you today. So next we're going on to the Rayon Shelly base cloth. And this is really lightweight, really soft, and drapey, such a floaty fabric. It's ever so slightly sheer, so depending on what you were making, you may wish to line it or wear it over a slip. Uh, but for tops and blouses, I don't think you would, I wouldn't be wear, uh, lining this one. I think you would get away with it. But you can just see how soft and drapey that fabric is. 
again, everyone who sews in this fabric, they seem to love it. And it, you, know, you can just feel the quality of this fabric. It's absolutely beautiful. And isn't that such a pretty design? Almost a ditzy, ditzy floral, lots of colours in there. Really, really beautiful. I think this would be perfect for a top or a blouse, um, like a pussy ball blouse would be lovely. Um, but equally, dresses, a wrap dress, a shirt dress, any kind of summery dress, any pattern that requires a lightweight woven fabric with lots of drape, this would be perfect. And I've also brought another um, rayon fabric to share with you. This is just a completely different design, still floral, but much larger scale, that beautiful turquoise colour, which I absolutely love. And I think that the gold print on this design absolutely sings off that background colour. Absolutely gorgeous. I would be making a wrap dress or something in this. Perhaps something like the Sew Over Eve dress, that would be lovely. Such a pretty, pretty fabric. Now the next base of cloth I've got to share with you is completely different to the rayons, it's the other end of the scale. So this is 100% cotton canvas fabric and you'll see when I fold this out just how much more structure and body this fabric has. Look, so if I hold that up there you can see the amount of structure and weight and body this has. Absolutely fabulous fabric. It's 100% cotton, so for, as, for a canvas that's just beautifully soft. You know, it has the weight and the body, but it's still a very soft fabric. She's just, you can just, again, you can just feel the quality in art gallery fabrics, absolutely beautiful. And I think this design is so cute. So it's a black background with the ivory colored um, swans on there with the little red dots every so often. Really, really pretty. Now this, uh, this sort of fabric is great for making all sorts of things. So you can make dungarees, a dungaree dress, trousers, shorts, um, you can make jackets, uh, something like the Ilford jacket from Friday Pattern Company, that would be amazing. Again, any any pattern that requires a woven fabric, no stretch, um, that requires something with structure and body, this would be absolutely perfect. I also think it's good for um, home wear type sewing as well. So, you know, for example, if you wanted to make like cushions or, um, or things like you know fabric baskets that you can store things in. This sort of fabric, it's an ideal weight for it. It's also great for bag making as well. So really, really versatile fabric, that one. Now next up, so we have a couple of, uh, well, we have a chambray and a denim fabric. So a lot of people don't realise that Art Gallery do planes in these sorts of fabrics, um, but they are really, you know, as, as all Art Gallery fabrics are, they're a really beautiful quality. And this chambray is just lovely, lovely colour, has a lovely weave, like speckles of white coming through the blue. As you can see, it's quite lightweight, as you would expect really from a chambray, soft, has some, a little bit of structure, but still set a lot of drape. Really, really lovely. And this would be perfect for oh, so many different things. Again, shirts, shirt dresses, um, a shift dress would be lovely, a pencil skirt, an airline skirt, and um, you could even make summery trousers or shorts. You could make a lightweight casual jacket, uh, jumpsuits even, loads of things you could make in that. And it does come in different colors as well, so do check those out. And then the next one, so this is a denim, and as you'll see, this is much heavier than the chambray fabric. So, if I hold that out there, you'll be able to see, you know, look at the structure in that fabric in comparison. It's a lot heavier, a lot more structured, a lot of weight. Really, again, it's 100% cotton, so it's really, really beautiful quality. And what I love about this are those cross-hatched sort of lines that are in the weave of the denim. And they just, it just adds something different, doesn't it, to... To, to a denim fabric. So it's not a print as such, it's not really a, a pattern, but it's it's not it's not completely solid and plain either. So this would be ideal for making jeans, of course. Um, it would be great for making denim shorts for the summer. It would make a great denim jacket. You could eat, I think even something like a trench coat style would be lovely in this. Dungarees, a boiler suit, a pinafore dress, 
um, a little, even a little airline skirt. I think you could just get away with that with the weight of this fabric. Loads and loads of different things you can make, but if you're looking to make a really lovely pair of jeans or a denim jacket, I think that would be a really, really lovely fabric to make it in. Now, next up, we have, um, so I've, I've chosen a few different prints that are all cotton poplins. So this is the fabric that Art Gallery is probably most famous for. So it's 100% cotton, really smooth, really finely woven, just fabulous quality. And it comes in just an absolutely breathtaking amount of prints and planes as well. So there, there really is something for everybody in this in this base cloth, I think. So I've chosen uh, five different prints here to share with you that we'll just run through quickly. And the sorts of things you can make in this fabric. So, you know, you can make quilts and cushions and things like that. But for dressmaking, it's perfect for pyjamas. Um, it's perfect for a shirt or a shirt dress, simple tops. Uh, you can make skirts. Um, all sorts of styles of dresses. Um, you could even you could even make summery shorts. Um, just loads of things that you could make, and it's such a nice and easy fabric to sew with. So if you're a beginner to sewing, um, this is a perfect place to start. So this is the first design. So we can see these little animals on this really bright, um, almost almost verging on a turquoisey blue background. If I hold that up there, you'll be able to see the structure of this fabric. It's, it's a light to medium weight, that's how we classify it, but it's got the structure. It's just oh, it's so crisp yet soft. It's absolutely beautiful. I think that's such a fun print. Next up, a completely different print. So this is a really detailed design. You can see it's got a dark, purple background and then these shades of gold almost like medallions and the flowers really unusual design so much detail in there I hope you can see that on camera I think I think that would make a beautiful shirt dress next up I absolutely love this design this is a really pretty floral really pretty pink color isn't that really oh it's just so sweet I think anything, anything would be lovely. This, a shirt, a blouse, pyjama bottoms that would be super luxurious, a shirt dress again, a shift dress. Absolutely lovely. I think anything with a vintage style as well would suit that print really well. And then we've another floral. Can you tell I like florals? <laughs> um, Again, this has another um, another one with lots of pink in there, but this one is a much larger scale, definitely more of a stylized floral on a cream background with green leaves. Super, super pretty. Again, I think that would suit anything with a vintage vibe. And lastly, this is one of our most popular prints in the whole of the Art Gallery collection. And it's just really unusual. Look at that design. We've got little bunnies in there, flowers, butterflies. Again, so much detail. You can see the love and care that's gone into creating these designs by the art gallery designers. Just absolutely gorgeous. I think that will be lovely for pyjamas myself or anything for children's wear. That would be really, really cute. And then lastly, what I wanted to share with you, something, this is something a little bit different. And these are the Colour Master boxes that we sell from Art Gallery Fabrics. Now, these are only while stocks last on the site now, um, but we do have lots and lots of different um, colour options and design options available. But basically what you get in these boxes are, um, well, we have different options. So this one is one of the half yard boxes. And in that you get um, pieces uh, that are, hot, well, 10 pieces that are half yard lengths. And they all coordinate, so if I shimmy that down, 
So that each one, all of the 10 pieces are all different designs and they all coordinate beautifully together. They've been put together by the designers at Art Gallery and they really know how to combine prints and colours. So with these, you're obviously getting um, pre-cut pieces at, uh, like I said, this one is a half yard box, but we also do fat quarter boxes as well, which if you don't know what a fat quarter is, if you imagine a, me um, a yard of fabric that is cut in half, so that leaves you with a, a half yard, and then that half yard is then cut in half again, so it leaves you with a square. So it's a nice square shaped piece rather than um, a skinny quarter. Um, hence the name a fat quarter and um, yeah they they're ideal for all sorts of different projects so we're, with either the half yard or the fat quarter boxes we're obviously not really talking dressmaking here um, I mean you could I love the idea of if you got one of these boxes creating a patchwork effect garment I mean you could do that that would be fabulous and you know a real excuse and a chance to get really creative something maybe you know you could perhaps quilt the fabrics with a wadding background uh, a wadding layer in between and create something maybe like the Javier jacket um that you know really really suits a pre a quilted fabric like that and um, or you can use them for things like pocket linings um you know facing details it's, it's a lovely idea that to just add like a pop of colour or just a pop of print in your design that maybe only you know's there, um, but you know, it would just make you smile every time that you sew it. Um, but also, of course, you know, the, the, the main um, thing that these are really popular for are, is for making quilts or cushions or smaller projects, bag making, all sorts of different um, sewing projects, you know, for craft items or homeware items. There's tons of things you can make with them. And I think it's the beauty of these boxes is one, they come really well presented. So, um, you know, they're and make an ideal gift. But the, the, the beauty with them for me is how they've combined all these prints together and every box can be slightly different different as well. So I love that different people will get a, a selection of prints that's unique to them. So yeah, I thought I would just show, share those as well because you might not know that we stock those here at Minerva and they are only while stocks last at the moment. So do have a look at those if you're interested. So that's all the fabrics that I had to share with you today. So I hope you found that inspiring and it's given you lots of ideas on the sorts of things that you can make with these fabrics and just really an idea of the different sorts of fabrics that Art Gallery Fabrics do. Um, I think lots of people think that they just do the 100% cottons, but there's, you know, there's absolutely lots of different um, base cloths, each with beautiful designs um, yeah, it's such a, a beautiful collection of fabrics. So as always, I will tag all the fabrics that I've mentioned below this video. So if you want to go and have a look at those, you can go and check them out on Minerva, see what other members of the Minerva community have been making in these fabrics. It's a wonderful resource to give you loads of ideas on the sorts of things that you can make and give you some specific pattern ideas as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a like and a follow if you did. I really enjoy, enjoyed sharing these fabrics with you today. I'm a big fan of Art Gallery Fabrics, so that was a lot of fun to be able to choose these and share them with you in today's video. Thanks very much for watching today and I'll be back again soon with another video.